Are you looking for happiness? Who isn't? In order to be happy, we need to feel safe too. But how do we find peace and happiness? Every day we're flooded by messages telling us who we are and what makes us secure and happy. It sounds a bit like this. Happiness equals buying things. And security equals punishing crime. Let's call this the old story. It shows a rather uninspiring picture of humankind. But does it work? Does buying stuff actually make us happy? Are punishment and revenge really making us secure? The answer is no. Studies show that once people have the basics, wealth doesn't add to happiness but even reduces it. Also, huge incarceration rates eventually lead to more crime. And as a military commander in Iraq once said, we're making terrorists faster than we can kill them. The good news is that for the last 30 years, science has been telling us an entirely different and much better story. For example, our brains reward us powerfully when we do something selfless for others. It gives us a strong sense of meaning and fulfillment, key elements of true happiness. In fact, we're wired for empathy our mirror neurons respond sensitively to what others do, think, and feel. We're more connected to each other than we think. This positive view on humankind is the new story. And if you listen well, you can hear it everywhere, under many names. It's the story where ancient wisdom and modern research come together. This story says that much happiness is within us, after all. So we don't need to consume our planet trying to get it from the outside. It also says that real security doesn't come from violence and punishment, but from ensuring that everyone has what they need, including love and respect. The new story isn't that new at all. It looks like the wisest among us were right all along. As Martin Luther King said in his famous Nobel Prize acceptance speech, Man must evolve for all human conflict, a method which rejects revenge, aggression, and retaliation. The foundation of such a method is love. Okay, that's all very touching. But what about crime and violence? How do we deal with that? Well, in lots of ways. For example, have you heard of restorative justice? This method involves victim, offender, and the whole community. It's effective, cheap, and builds community in the process. And did you know that ordinary citizens with non-violence training are solving conflicts all over the world? It shows we can do things so much differently and better if we change the narrative. The new story has new heroes. Here, we're not consumers, but contributors. What really makes us happy is finding our unique gifts and giving them to the world. At the Meta Center, we believe in the new story. We all have a role to play in making it come true. If you are up to the task, we can help you. Our website offers lots of free resources to help you learn the new story. We've even built a roadmap to get you started. Want to be a part of this story? Share it with others.